I'm going to watch the Act Man video about Twitter. I want to do that one first because I'm really kind of interested in this. Because, like, we can watch the baby video after this, but I want to watch the Twitter video first. And, uh, let's see. Did you see the Genshin card game trailer? No, I did not. All right, here we go. You gonna watch POE live stream? People keep asking me that. The answer to that is yes. Here we go. Let me mute this real quick, and then we're gonna watch it. It's a great thumbnail. Yeah, it is. What's up, everybody? This is the Act Man here, and today, Twitter is imploding. Yeah, something like that. Good! When Elon Musk first talked about acquiring Twitter and buying it out back in April, he spoke of liberation, mm -hmm. of making comedy legal on Twitter. The comedy, why is small talk He promised legal? to banish the bot accounts to the Shadow Realm, that he'd fight against misinformation and bring order and freedom back to this social media giant. And on October 27th, when the deal was finalized, I thought, you know, if Elon Musk gets Twitter, What's the worst that could happen? That's really the way that I look at it, is that I always, I, I always will advocate for more chaos. Yep, a anything to, that will really switch things up and change things around, that's what I will go for. That's what I will be an advocate of. Every time. It's been two weeks, and I'm gonna be honest, it has turned into a dumpster fire. I don't remember the last time I've seen a company of this magnitude plummet and, and fuck up so badly. Do you guys think that? Like, to me, I feel like Twitter hasn't changed at all. Yeah, I, I feel like Twitter's been pretty much fine. Yeah, I, like, to me, I yeah, it's been, it's been okay with me. It's better now? Yeah, I, I don't know, it's... I feel like maybe some people could say it's getting better, but like, I honestly don't think it's gotten that much better or that much worse. It's so about quickly. The, same. the dumpster fire is burning and it smells like trash. Who's the man that lit the fire? The negative effects of Elon Musk's takeover of Twitter have been resounding and immediate. Okay, let's see Chaos it. is now our king. And you know, it's, it's funny. That's it's funny watching things collapse like this from a distance. It's not good, but it is funny. Like, bro, who yes. spends $44 billion on a company and then two weeks later is like, yeah, the bankruptcy for this company? That's a possibility. Well, of course it is. I mean, I think you have to keep in mind that it depends on whether it's it's like Chapter 7 bankruptcy or not. Uh, a lot of companies file bankruptcy to remove debt or reallocate debt. It's for tax reasons. Yeah, bankruptcy happens all the time with companies, and it doesn't necessarily mean the company isn't doing well. What? It's been two weeks! You're talking about bankruptcy? It's not out of the question? Absolutely. That's why you're no longer president. Two weeks. Let's do it in two weeks. Hey! Are those pennies? No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Can we stop the music? But before we jump Damn. into it, this video is sponsored by War Thunder. The most in-depth vehicle combat game ever made. Step aside, Mech Assault. No need to get your wallets out. Is this War an Thunder auto battle? is free to play. With over 2,000 different planes, What's helicopters, it? boats, ships, mm -hmm. tanks, there is no end to your arsenal of weapons. Wow. And each vehicle has been meticulously handcrafted by Phil Spencer himself to be as detailed and historically accurate as possible. Thanks, Phil. I remember Gaming. watching videos like that on PC, uh, Series X, Fox and S, the PlayStation 5, and last-gen consoles, there are no barriers to entry, as the game is also cross-platform. War Thunder's collection of vehicles spans wow. over well, 100 thanks, years. Now that's history. With in-depth customization including camos and markings, you can add that personal touch to your armored behemoth. Enjoy breathtaking vistas filled with intense dogfighting. Unlike most piloting games that are perfect for a controller, this game plays extremely well on mouse and keyboard, but you can always go back to old reliable if I'd you I'd say this is a W for, I mean, it's not an auto battle or game. Uh, like, I, I think this this game seems like something that I would at least try versus a lot of the other, you, you know, those games where it's like, oh, it's got a really cool cinematic and then, like, the gameplay is, it's like Monopoly or something. 
particularly want to. So what are you waiting for? Download and play War Thunder today. And if you use my mm -hmm. special link, you'll get a large free content bonus pack, including multiple premium vehicles, a premium account, boosters, and much more. So check the pinned comment in the description, download War Thunder and play it. And thank you, War Thunder, for sponsoring this video. And now for something completely different. Let's see. I don't even know where to start on this topic. Elon bought Twitter for $44 billion and the deal finalized on October 27th. Since yep. then, it has been all downhill. Now, whether you consider yourself a fan of Elon Musk or not, I think it's pretty obvious and safe to say that Twitter has gotten objectively worse since his takeover. Although I, I disagree. I feel, I, I, yeah, I disagree with this because the moment that Elon bought Twitter, everybody was like, Okay, it's like, you know, whenever Clark Kent pulls off his fucking, uh, his like raincoat and his suit, and it's actually Superman underneath, they pull off their raincoat and their suit, and they're like, the 2020 election, that shit was rigged. Hillary Clinton, a lizard. COVID, fake. Fauci, a criminal. Trump, that's the president. And it's like, they just went in on it. It was so fucking, it was hilarious to me. I'm not sure what I expected from a guy who named his child X X A E A twelve. When Elon came yeah. in, the first thing he did, clean like house, Pokemon. like modern warfare, baby. We're getting rid of you. We're yep. getting rid of you. Boom, you're out of there. Three big executives <laughs> at the company were all fired. Elon then proceeded. I think that's fair. I mean, like it makes sense that, I mean, if he's buying the company because he thinks it's not being run right, and then he's running the company. Of course he's going to fire all the people that were running the company because by him buying it, he's stated many times that they don't know what the fuck they're doing. Of course he'd fire them. To lay off half of all Twitter employees, 3,700 roughly within... I, I have to say that despite Twitter firing thousands of people, I have not experienced a disruption in my service and i think that that is telling it is very telling well, also uh facebook fired even more than this two weeks of this takeover now i might not be the sharpest tool in the shed but i know when i don't know something i'm smart enough to know when i'm out of my league and when i should seek the advice of other people who are smarter than me in certain areas. How do I change the oil in my car? Do I just hit it with a wrench like the video games tell me to yeah, do? Yeah, that's about right. No, I go to a fucking guy who changes oil. Elon yeah. apparently does not have this trait of learning from people that know more about something than you because after they fired a bunch of people the next day they asked some of them to come back <laughs> hey you that that was a that was a bit of a fuck up i think we could all agree regardless of who what side you're on with this that's a bit of, oops yeah <laughs> well we didn't mean to do that you're fired no wait <laughs> What? How just does that kidding. happen? You don't just fire people on a whim. What kind of job stability does that indicate when your new boss is talking about bankruptcy? Why would anybody want to work at Twitter right now? Would you go back to a job that got new leadership and the guy was like, hey, you're fired. And then he was like, hey, come back, actually. Would you go back to that job? Honest question. Yeah, I think a lot of people would because the job fucking paid them money. I think the truth is they 100% would. Now, would they go back and stay there? No, I don't think so. I think they would probably go back and then work there until uh, they could find a, a, another job that was more stable. Yeah. What I don't understand is how do you not realize what it takes to run Twitter before you make the decisions of who to let go and who to keep. You need to figure that out first, okay? The owners of NFL teams don't write the playbook for on the field. They pay guys to do that. Well, no, they just make racist comments. That's all they do. Yeah, we know this. Absolutely. For them. Like, you can't just make these wide-sweeping, irreversible changes to Twitter and your staff and just, like and just wing it the pattern we're seeing with twitter is i think that you absolutely can do that you can absolutely do that you've got to remember elon sent three rockets up at spacex whenever it came out and that ship blew up three rock yeah elon can yeah he sent those rockets up that ship blew up that's it it's done it's over so yeah 
absolutely. Like, I think the guy is like, he's not afraid to fuck up or fail or anything. I feel like, yeah, his engineer sent them, not him. Yeah, it depends on who the owner is. Well, yeah, things going to blow up. Yeah, shit's going to blow up. He's confident about it. I mean, I don't know. I mean, Tesla's doing pretty well. SpaceX is doing pretty well. So, I mean, you know, I, I've that's pretty good. The guy was involved with PayPal, too. PayPal's doing pretty well also. A series of rushed and not thought out ideas that are immediately implemented yep. without considering the ramifications and then they realize the hard way that they fucked up and then come up with this band-aid solution to fix them. In business, there's only one thing more important than make it better and that's don't fuck it up. This is what one of the original creators of YouTube said and I think think he hits the nail on the head. I'm just going- Well, he didn't do that. The thing is, here's, here's the reality, is that until he actually fucks up and affects the end user experience, then it doesn't really matter. He was fired from PayPal, the only reason he made money from it is because he had shares. Yeah, but who knows why he got fired? I don't know. I, I think that, like, look, if, if you're gonna say that Elon Musk is stupid, doesn't know what the fuck he's doing, I mean, the guy is fucking a multi-billionaire, he's made SpaceX, he's made Tesla, he was involved with PayPal, please, please stop it. I'm going to publicly beg all Elon Musk meat writers to hop off his cock for just a few seconds. Twitter be fucking it up, and I honestly can't tell yeah. if Elon is, like, intentionally nosediving this company into bankruptcy or if he just thinks that he shits gold what i find so bizarre about this situation is i think that a lot of it is very overblown I, I think that in both ways i think that twitter is not substantially better now that elon musk owns it and i also don't think that it's substantially worse i think that really it's just a bunch of people with a bias that are it's like whenever somebody tells you something is like you know they might tell you like what some kind of food is before you eat it you already have a bias going into eating the food yeah that's kind of what i think your bias for him though also i'm not biased for him really at all like i've said a lot of things he did were i think fuck ups for sure but it doesn't mean that i can't acknowledge that like the guy is also fucked up with other stuff as well and it turned out to be okay he's fucked up a lot with spacex it turned out to be okay Tesla's fucked up so many times, and it's also been okay. It's 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 successful. It's a successful company. That that's all there is to it. And it, I understand that there are some people that are going to try and come in and explain it's actually not because of him. It's because of some other people. But I feel like if you're going to say that, then I, I feel like wouldn't that also mean that he's not just doing all the decisions on his own and just shooting from the hip because he's actually consulting other people and having them make all the good decisions so it would completely invalidate the original argument so i don't know he's a moron i've worked with him myself he's an idiot i'm sure you're a lot smarter than he is man just how fast these changes are taking effect yeah like this is what he said he says, please note that Twitter will do a lot of dumb things in the coming months. We'll do what works and change what doesn't. Yes. That's exactly what it is. Money equals smart. I love it. <sighs> Guys. The guy is he's, he's built up two multi-billion dollar companies. He's not stupid. Like, he's, he's not fucking stupid. Like, he inherited these money. Yeah, oh my God. Oh my fucking God. He was already rich. Oh, wow. Stories messed up mile three. Second guessing factory manager. I heard from four is well reported. Of course there have been mistakes, but I'm just saying it's worked out. Yeah, these chatters. Yeah, I know. Blind hate. What the fuck? Elon Sigvent's going hard. He's not a genius because he's rich. The two don't mean the same thing. I don't think he's a genius because he's rich. I think he's a... <laughs> I think he's pretty smart because he's made two of these fucking companies that are massive. And I, I've understood, like, yes, Elon Musk did not, was not the first person that ever worked at Tesla. I get that. But if you want to act like it's not because of him that it's successful, you're nuts, man. Absolutely fucking nuts. Elon will tweet something out and then like three yeah. hours later, the change is implemented. 
yep. and it's rough and it doesn't work. He mentioned revamping yep, Twitter right. Blue where you could pay for verified status for $8 mm -hmm. a month. And then like a week later, it's here, it's here. You can pay for verification status now. Yep. Like, well, excuse me? Holy shit, that fast? Can we can, can we talk about this first? Uh, <laughs> company stocks are plummeting. Impersonation and- I think this is good. As I said, I am a, uh, I am very much an agent of chaos. I think this is fucking hilarious that these people are impersonating these companies and ruining their stock. Because I, I, I hate how people take everything on the internet right at face value. I think it's good that nobody is believing shit on the internet anymore. Thank fucking God. This should have always been the case. The insulin tweet was fucking hilarious. Yeah, it was. I thought it was funny. Parity accounts are running rampant. Half the employees are gone. We got rid of leadership. All the people yeah. with years, years and veteran experience with this platform are no longer there for us to consult. Elon's talking about bankruptcy, saying nobody can work remotely unless you have my express approval. Yep. It's like, calm down. Focus on one idea. Yeah, the guy's a fucking asshole. I think that everybody can pretty much agree on this. The guy works 100 hours a week, and he expects everybody else to work 100 hours a week. The dude is pretty much a slave driver, except he pays you, and that's all there is to it. That's, that's what he does. Yeah, absolutely. And, and yeah, that's probably too much. How about that? All these fucking ideas he's doing right away on a whim. This yep. doesn't work for a social media conglomerate as big as Twitter. Someone told me this, that, that big companies, big tech companies uh -huh. especially, are a giant ship, right? And a giant ship has a crew. They got yeah, people right. in the boiler room putting a coal in. They've mm -hmm. got captains, a watcher sure. who looks for land. They have navigators and people that lower the anchor. They have teams equipped to make sure the boat doesn't hit the iceberg. A boat that big can carry a lot of people and a lot of cargo, and the bigger the ship, the longer it takes to turn. If you want to avoid that iceberg, then you need to see it and adjust course well ahead of time, because it takes a long time to turn. Yes, Elon, the bird is free, and you've crippled its wings. For example, YouTube recently announced and told its creators that they're going to be monetized. I think that, uh, honestly, I, I think that if you don't like the way something's being run, like, obviously you should change it, right? I mean, it depends on what it is. I don't think that, like, the truth is, I don't really know whether it was, a, whether he's going to make Twitter better or not. I don't think any of us really know. I don't think we're going to know for a whole year. Because, like, all of these, like, short, short-term changes and shit like this, it doesn't really matter. But I don't think that it's impossible for it to happen. Advertising shorts starting in February. It is one, one second. Somebody says most of his hip making so many off the hip decisions caused so many so much turmoil. No, the, what causes so much turmoil is people that are constantly writing hate articles about him. I, I, I think that most people probably it's not that big of an effect. But if you go and you read, uh, you know, one of these publications, you're going to you're going to think that Twitter is literally on fire. They're vastly overrepresenting the problems that are happening. They are like tremendously overrepresenting them. November right now. Speedy that's a buys. good yeah. period of time to figure out the kinks and how that's going to work before you just throw it out there and, and see what happens. You pay $44 billion for Twitter and what's your plan? You're just, you're just winging it. And here's the thing, right? If Elon already yep. knew who he wanted to keep and who he didn't want to keep, this is a bird after then all. at least like befriend them, like be fake, consult the, the higher management on how Twitter works, learn how to understand it, pretend to be their friend and then fire them. You know, like a Sith Lord would do. No. Hey, future act man here. Turns out I was right. As this is exactly what happened. From a leaked Discord message with the senior director of engineering at Twitter, he says, this is going to be a challenge. The engineers I'm bringing back are weak, lazy, unmotivated, and they may even be against an Elon Twitter. They were cut for a reason, so we need to think of these people as just needing to be around until the knowledge transaction is completed. Once they- There it is, boys. There it is. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. That's what every single... Like, the, the thing is, yes, obviously it's bad that he said that. But what company doesn't say that? 
I don't know. I feel like that's pretty fucking... Yeah, that, that happens all the time, man. They learn what they need to from these people, they are gone. Once more, the Sith will rule the galaxy. When they started selling verification badges for eight bucks, all hell broke loose. This was, was not great. thought out. At one point, all verified accounts had this little official verification below it. And then yep. an hour later, they got rid of that. And they've since brought that back yep. for certain accounts. But because I don't have anybody one. could pay to be verified and then impersonate and parody anybody they wanted. Elon seems to be tweeting new rules. To be fair, I think that 99% of that impersonation shit stopped after they banned Ethan and Kathy Griffin. Like, see, everybody's, oh, everybody's going to start impersonating the moment that, like, bro, you take a couple heads, you have a couple public executions, suddenly everybody else starts following the rules. <laughs> That's the truth. The, the moment they come to his brain, uh, without consulting yeah, anybody, up without real quick. any regard for enacting these rules on a massive scale or what ramifications they might have, it's like, this sounds like yeah. a good idea, we're doing they it now. Do it. And yeah. you tell... 3,700 people that. It's like, oh, new rule. It's like fucking commandments. Like, the new commandment is here. I, Elon Musk, well, yeah, yeah changing that one, actually. Ah, the new updated commandment. Yeah. Oh, gonna change that real quick. And here we go, the no, final version of the commandment. Let's talk verification. Yep. It's important on websites like YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter for certain users to be verified. It's important to know who is who among us. Identifying a real content creator, government official, news source, publication. Am I just an unhinged psycho for not caring about that and me thinking that impersonating other people is kind of funny in a way? Because it causes dumb people to get scammed. Like, yeah, maybe I'm just an absolute fucking psycho. I literally don't care about this. If you're too stupid to be able to figure out what Twitter account is actually saying something, you don't deserve to be on the internet. Celebrity, it's it's not a match of Among Us. We need yeah. to know who is who. This isn't Among Us. What they did was they came out with this paid verification badge and then lumped it in with the current version so that people who paid for it were indistinguishable from people that mm -hmm. had it. Unless you clicked on their profile and then- People say advertisers will leave. They're only gonna leave if the people leave. You think these advertisers are actually gonna leave if if there's a lot of people on Twitter? Well, who the fuck is going to buy their, uh, buy their vacuum cleaners? Yeah. They actually are. No, they, they will leave. Yeah, absolutely, they will, and then they'll come back. This is what they always do. They did the same thing with YouTube. They do the same thing with Twitch. They do the same thing with all these social media companies. Is they move away from the company temporarily to preserve their brand, and then the moment that the heat dies down, they quietly recontinue the contracts. That's what happens clicked on the badge and read what it said, but that's an extra step that wasn't there. So it just introduced mass confusion because people, you know, it takes time. You got to prep people on this change, right? Write out a fucking blog post. And if you want to have a paid subscription service uh, that boosts people's tweets in the algorithm, it's like, fine, whatever, but make that a different symbol, right? Before yeah. this change, parody accounts were obvious to spot because they were never verified, as were legitimate impersonations. Twitter started verifying accounts in 2009, okay? So, for the last 13 years, everyone has been mentally conditioned to see this symbol and think, yep, that's the legit person right there. Yeah, and that's why he's trying to charge people money for it. He's, he's trying to make money off of that conditioning. Absolutely. I think that's what it is. And there's no question about it. So it makes uh, tweets like this look legit. Yeah, yeah, you can fuck the Pokemon in the new one. Good. <laughs> Coke is better. They finally settled the debate. It's finally over, man. God. Yeah, I mean, Coke is pretty good. Yeah, maybe we'll have a Coke after this. Actually, it's a good idea. Let me, let me get it ready for me. Yeah, I got it right here. Um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll, get, we'll get that one ready. That's a good idea. See, that's sold me. I mean, shit. And companies, companies are going to be yep. evacuating from Twitter. We steal your water and sell it back to you, LOL. 44,000 <laughs> likes. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I did that shit. He finally admitted it. He, we fu I think, as I said, I think that a more discerning eye will be required for the internet. Because in five years, 
so many things on the internet, the real will be indistinguishable from the not real. And your ability to uh, digest information will be completely based around what you can understand. Like everything is becoming fake. There's deep fake stuff already, already fooling real people. It's going to happen even more, guys. We're already there. Yeah, whenever AI is scamming people, absolutely. Like it, it, this is, it, I think it has to happen. No, I do. Finally got that confession. Melania, I swear to God, you if you understand. Oh, somebody says, you understand the EU has a law against it. Well, I don't care about the laws. Why the fuck are I give a fuck? Bro, let me, let, me, let me just be real. I don't give a fuck about what is or is not against the law. Like, I don't care. Like, I follow it if I have to. But this is not an argument to me. Why would I give a fuck? Take away my Xbox again, I will deport you. How could you let this happen? How did you not foresee this? Breaking. A second Tesla has hit the World Trade Center. <laughs> You brought this upon yourself. The company Eli Lilly uh, oh my sells God. insulin at inflated prices. For some, insulin is a life-saving medication yeah. slash drug that is absolutely critical to their survival. For some reason, United States medicine companies sell insulin way higher than everyone else. And so one person with a dream and $8 in their wallet decided they had had enough. We are excited to announce insulin is free now. They're, this tanked their stocks. Good. Good, I think that's funny. I, I do. I, I, I think it's absolutely fucking hilarious. Yeah, good, that's what they get. Apparently, they lost billions of dollars. Yep. Because of Twitter Blue. That Oops. is insane. <laughs> that is so crazy. It's so crazy what happens when you don't think about consequences. <laughs> Countless good. people have also taken it upon themselves to parody the man himself. There is nothing better than waking up and enjoying a fresh steaming cup of my own urine. Such a tangy way to start the day. Here, I let, me, let me go take a look at something here, all right? We got Chris Warcraft. Let's look up Chris Warcraft. Oh, wow. Uh, Chris Warcraft is uh, banned. Is he banned? Yeah, he's gone. Yep, he's done. Uh, I, I looked it up. Let's let's see if I find it real quick. Uh, Twitter.com slash Chris Warcraft. Accounts fucking uh, uh, account suspended. <laughs> done. Absolutely fucking done. Wow. Fuck around and go find out. Yep, there it is. It's scientifically proven to help brain cells grow. If you want to be like me, drink your pee. Comedy is now legal on Twitter. H3H3 yep. H3 would test this statement by changing his profile picture and name to that of Elon Musk. He'd then go on to post numerous tweets critiquing and parodying Elon in a way that was very bold. Yeah, yes. So I've been permanently banned on Twitter. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Yes, yes, yes. Wow. His Twitter account was banned two hours after these posts. Now, regardless of your opinion, I think this is uh, this is bad for people's content. I do. I, I think it absolutely is. Like Twitter is a huge platform that people use to uh, interact with their audience. And the truth is, if people know that it's against the rules, they're not gonna do it. Like as much as you might think, yeah, the, as much as you might think, like, oh well, I'm gonna fucking stand up to the man. I mean, that you, is there anybody else impersonating Elon right now? Any other popular content creators? Anybody have any uh, any profile pictures? No. No, I guess not. It's crazy how that happens. All you have to do, man, there's a reason they use public executions. It's because that shit works on Ethan Klein, whether you like him, love him, don't care, hate him. Elon mm -hmm. is not making Twitter's policies clear. Yep. So when he says, yeah, parody accounts are okay, you just have to specify that you're a parody account. Yep. And then he bans parody accounts that do that. It's like things are changing on a dime and massive accounts with such a huge following. To be fair, uh, e Ethan did not specify.
Yeah, e- e- Ethan did not specify. He, he didn't follow the rules. Like, that. that's just, I mean, that's all there is to it. He didn't follow the rules. Uh, is that he thinks there are five good subs? He did? No, he didn't. Yes, he did. He did not specify. He did. Oh, God, guys. Oh, God, guys. We really going to, oh, my God. We really going to do this? Oh, my God. Y'all really want to do this to me? You really going to put me in a, you really going to put me in a situation today? Y'all really about to put me in a situation? Okay. Oh my God. Okay. Let me go over and I'm going to wait. I'm going to read the tweet. So we have Twitter handles. What do you think Twitter handles means? What do you think that means? The at part? The actual username? Okay. Did uh did H three H three have that? On the display on his display name or on his at? No. Damn. Oh my god, Asmund Gold is right again. Oh, I fucking hate Baldy. Oh my god, I hate him so much. Wow. It's like, yeah, you know, he meant different blood types, so he, mosquitoes can enjoy different flavors. Thanks for your contribution, man. I appreciate that. Yeah, the tweet was after they were banned. Um, I don't know if it was or not. Yeah, I'm not sure. Elon specifically says here. Well, y'all want to read the... Uh, so I actually went through and I can I can watch my own video on this and look at the information that I saw. Because if you want, like I just want to let you guys know that the further we, that we dive into this specification, the more right I will become. Yeah, this is the, the I, I will only become more right and more powerful the longer that we engage in this battle. I'm like the Hulk here, okay? This is the only time ever that I'm like the Hulk. It was after the bans. Well, here's here's a good way to look at it, right? So if you, you well, then you could just use the existing Twitter terms of service, right? So uh, the existing Twitter terms of service explicitly stated that you could not parody people in the way that Ethan did. If you would like, I could pull up the data and the information myself. But it was explicitly stated. That's just, it's just simply true. Bring it up, okay. All right. Twitter impersonation rules. Okay. Um, Let's see if we can find it. Uh, so we have uh, what is required on this policy. Now, I, I'd have to go back and we would have to find a, a screenshot of the original one in the Wayback Machine. But let's go ahead and let's address what the actual rules are right now. Uh, so the account name and the bio should also clearly state. So it needs to be distinguished in both their account name and bio. So the account name should clearly indicate the account is not affiliated with the subject portrayed in a profile. So it was not in the account name. He got banned. It's that simple. There we go. Isn't it crazy? Guys, I I know people are going to get upset about this whenever I'm right. And they're upset a lot. But I am right. to specify that you're a parody account Mm -hmm. and then he bans parody accounts that do that it's like things are changing on a dime and massive accounts with such a huge following deserve at least some warning if they're about to get banned for parody and impersonation i I disagree sometimes it's good to just an absolute and, and this is something this is something people might not necessarily agree with 
but it works. Fairness can always be calculated. Unfairness can't. People are afraid of what they can't know and what they can't predict. The moment that you do something that's unfair randomly, everybody else freaks the fuck out and they don't even try to they don't even try to push rules at all. Because they know that any kind of shit like that could happen to you immediately. Serve the warning. Before this one's oh, somebody here. Let me. I, I'm gonna get in an argument with the chatter. Okay. Let me do this real quick. So, here's an individual. We're gonna we're gonna read this. Free speech for me. The point is the hypocrisy moron. In his bio, you idiot. So this person obviously uh, just had his opinion. They just had their uh, their point of view. Um, uh, disenchanted, uh, you could say. Uh, this just got disenchanted because we just read the terms of service and it turned out that this was not the only thing that was required. And then I don't give a fuck about laws, user agreements, though. I don't care about the laws. You're right. But what did I explicitly say? I said that I will follow them. I don't care about them. I, do, in general, do not respect them by the nature of them being laws. And also there's an important distinction. I do not respect laws because they are the nature of the laws, but that does not mean that I don't have to follow them. Every time that I've gotten pulled over for expired registration, uh, you know, lack of insurance, uh, tail light being out or something like that, maybe I don't really give a fuck about that, but I don't complain to the cop and argue about it because I broke the rules. That's what happens. So yes, you can simultaneously not give a fuck about something, but at the exact same time, acknowledge that you need to follow the rule or you're going to get fucked. That's all there is to it. We're going to give you nothing. Let's go. Or I got demonetized, right? That's how I feel. Even if you're happy to see Ethan gone or you're sad, it's like, that sets a bad precedent. When one man can just change the rules and then ban all the people he wants. And yep. it's like, it's like, that was so fast too. Two yep. hours. It seems like that there was a personal hand in that. In For an effort probably, to yeah. clamp down Could on happen. these rampant parodies, yep. Twitter has pulled out the scotch tape and stitched together a solution. That being removing verified accounts from changing their name at all. For some? Yep. This is unfortunate. My verified notification- Why would that be unfortunate? I don't understand. Seems good to me. Notifications used to be a great way to track how my colleagues and fellow yeah, content fine. creators and persons of interest uh, were interacting with my tweets. And now it's a bunch of randos. Elon just can't stop coming up with new ideas. You, the old verified system will eventually be removed. Also, we're going to offer content creators 10% better revenue split than YouTube if they put the content on Twitter. What? You have fired your leadership, uh, introduced and removed features that broke your platform. You are discussing bankruptcy. You have laid off half of your workforce, yep. and now you're trying to entice me to post videos on Twitter. You're not in the same- People will very easily post vid videos on Twitter. It's very- you, you want to know how to get people to post videos on Twitter? You give them money. And you also give them discoverability. If you give them money and their videos do well on Twitter and they are successful, then that's all it takes. It's not that hard. Same business as YouTube. Twitter doesn't have the infrastructure to support large-scale video uploads. Twitter is for memes. I also want to say uh, there is another chatter I'm going to get in a direct argument with, but I feel like we've just had one of those, so it's on cooldown right now. I'm going to get to it in like maybe like 10 minutes or like five minutes, more like three minutes. Ship posts, quick thoughts, news, mm -hmm. and bullshit. And Elon said this about it. Let's just get a bunch of content creators that we think are cool on YouTube and say, Hey, would you consider putting your content on Twitter? And we'll pay you 10% more than YouTube and see how it goes. Yeah, see what happens. That's the way it works. 
Yep, yep, you just see you just see what happens. That's the way he does shit. Yeah, why not? I'll fucking just fucking do this shit, see what happens. See how it goes. Yep. This dude is straight winging it. Um, yeah. I'm I'm pretty hyped up in this video. I don't know why. It's just so funny to me. But to describe the current stage of Twitter, I found a quote from Colin Crowell, the former head of global public policy at Twitter. It's a oh. back to the future reversion to content rules circa 2010, but one that ignores the lived experience over the last decade. People eventually realize that the wild... Is that a bad thing, though? West needs a sheriff, both for ensuring the mm -hmm. safety of citizens, but also for enhancing the, the prospects good old days. for commerce. Twitter needs a sheriff, and the new guy in charge hasn't earned his stars. Jesus. In fact, he just burned down the saloon. The what? platform has gotten objectively worse, more chaotic, complicated, and confusing since his takeover. Nothing has been improved so far. I am enjoying the implosion of Twitter to a certain extent, but to be honest, like, I do love Twitter, and I am concerned for its future. It's a great way to quickly update people on what's going on in my life and to share memes, you know? Especially since Facebook also laid off a bunch of employees. It's like 11,000 or something. There's talk of this recession coming around. It's like, it's not a good look. Elon's tenure certainly has not inspired much faith or hope in the future of Twitter, nor his abilities to improve it, let alone- I have the same opinion on Elon buying Twitter as I do with Mark Zuckerberg full investing into Meta. I think that it is such a big dick decision to say, yes, the metaverse isn't successful right now. Everybody is saying that we shouldn't do this. We are losing billions of dollars daily. And I won't stop. I will ride this ship down to the bottom of the fucking ocean. I love it. Absolutely fucking love it. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, yeah, and the thing is, if he loses, he loses. It is what it is. But goddamn, that would be cool if he won. You know, can't stop, won't stop. Yeah, you go down with your ship. I can respect somebody who puts everything on the fucking line for something they believe in, and they do all kinds of crazy shit to try to make it work. They don't really give a fuck about it. They don't really know what they're doing. It's entertaining to me. I think it's funny. It's res I respect that, yeah. Don't stop it from burning. Buy some fire extinguishers. Slow the fuck down. Think about what you're doing. A massive ship can't just turn on the whims of its captain. Shit takes time to do right. And right now, mm -hmm. Twitter may not be around for much longer. Who knows where we'll be mm -hmm. in a year. But what do you think? Leave your thoughts and opinions on the uh, Twitter situation in the comments below. Don't forget to check out War Thunder. Use my special link in the description and pinned comment. Like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to The Act Man for more awesome content. All right, everyone, that's all I got for today. This is The Act Man signing out. Let me link it for Peace. you guys. There we go. I love The Act Man. We watch all of his videos. I think that Twitter is way better, though. I'm going to be honest. I, I really do. I, I think that Twitter is, is way better for me. I love watching crazy people on Twitter. It doesn't mean the website's really improved. Like, it's not that much different. But to me, I just like seeing crazy people. Yeah, I, I think it's funny. And I think that the more chaotic and insane things are, the more I will enjoy them. The more I, I, I will find them interesting. And I think it's just better uh, in general. That's what I like. Yeah, Twitter is better now. Twitter will not disappear. Uh, I think here's the thing. You've got to keep this in mind. Twitter will not disappear unless users stop using Twitter. Nobody gives a fuck if some celebrity tweets that they're leaving Twitter. This doesn't matter. Nobody cares. It's the people that matter. And if the end user experience is fun, engaging, free, and enjoyable, then the website will grow and people will stay on Twitter. That's really the truth. Because everybody out there who's trying to build a following online, they're all fishermen. And you're going to fish where the fish are. I'll read one person's comments, okay? And, uh, yeah, you guys, I know there's Kanye West, Alex Jones. We'll watch that in a little while, okay? But I do actually want to play video games today. I don't know if you guys knew this. So, uh, yeah, there's another person who said this. Um, it was after the bans he changed the parody information. Why not free speech? So this is another person who's dumb. So much for free speech. Twitter isn't that big. Uh, you hate humanity. Misanthropic gold. They already left. They didn't stop. 
Most of the things you said were wrong, by the way, but go off. Free speech, though. It's not really free speech if they can take it away from you, is it? That's the truth. And like, yeah, of course they're going to say that it's free speech. Everybody says free speech, but then they just they, they just silence the people that they disagree with. That, that's all that's all there is to it. Video games. Yeah. Paid speech. Yeah, that's all there is to it. Ban that bozo. I will ban this person. OK. And yes, yeah, smile. I don't know. Like if he type, if, if there's one more bad message, we'll ban him. OK. This guy's obviously turned up. Elon literally propagated a conspiracy theory against Pelosi's husband, saying it was a gay lover quarrel. Have you not seen how on Unhinged Elon is? I know it was me. Okay, we're not going to ban you. Um, no, you're not being rude. You're just disagreeing with me. I, I, I don't really ban people unless they're being rude and uh, or disrespectful or something like that. Yeah, we're not going to ban you. Uh, you're okay. You fake newsmaker? Oh, sure. Respect that? No, I, I will... I will ban people if they are disrespectful, rude, or misrepresenting what I'm saying. But if they just simply disagree with me strongly, then that's not really something I'm going to ban somebody for. I don't really give a fuck about that. Uh, of course, obviously, it's very polarizing. Like, it's that, that's the way it is. To me, I don't really care if, uh, if people get impersonated or these companies get impersonated. No, obviously, Twitter has to do something about it. It's not necessarily a good thing. We can't have this happen. But, and, God, yes. companies... I, I, I find this very, wait a second, I find this very funny. And I think that the internet has been due for a reality check on taking shit too seriously. And that's all there is to it. I, I, I really think so. You ban people on this channel? Oh, I do sometimes. And uh, what's this here? Publicly executed me once. I learned my lesson. Yeah, it's okay. And when he goes false advice, we're permanently banned. And that's the best part is I just make up the rules as I go. That's right. So guess what? Somebody who just randomly makes up rules arbitrarily, changes them arbitrarily all the time. Guess what? I don't really worry about it. Yeah, so I see somebody else doing that. Okay. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Yeah, channel your rules. That's right. 